Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants. We are continuing on with Empires of the Undergrowth and today we're going to have what may be our last attempt at doing 3.2 Frontline on Insane. Now as per many of your advice and something I was going to do anyway to be honest, I did say that I just wanted to do it sort of blind the first time. I did skim through Terrific Timmy's video and got a general idea of his tactics. Like the main thing that's against me doing that again is just time. It is now Sunday. As I've mentioned several times, I am away over Christmas. So as of next Friday, I'm away for over three weeks. I believe it's over three weeks. Yes, all together. So I have today to record uh, roughly 10 videos, which is going to be really tight. It's now half one in the afternoon. 10 videos is a lot to record. So I skimmed through it. I got a general idea of his strategy. I didn't watch every single little bit, I'll be honest. So maybe I did say I'd have one more go when we'd leave it. But maybe after Christmas, I'll come back and I'll have another go at, at doing it. But I did see that the first couple of days, uh, so I did see he takes out the giant whip spider, which was very interesting. So we're going to have a go at that. And then over Christmas break, I think there is one Empire's video scheduled, uh, one or two, and that will be the... Um this oh, I've, I'm going to restart that immediately because I just messed up that. I, it's half a second. It makes no difference, but I was just annoyed that I pressed the wrong button and moved in the wrong direction. <laughs> it wasn't very smooth. So first of all, we're going to get some this leaf store leaf built. Cutter colony has established a foothold in a clearing near the. We're going to go tree. outside. We're going to move the, the peep our first wave of ants outside. The harvesting grounds, which have gone unchallenged for the past few weeks. I'm going to turn my headphones down because, as always, he is exceedingly loud in my ears. The peace is about to be broken. So we're not going to do anything else until they've built this leaf store. In fact, we'll get a couple more down as well. And yeah, over Christmas, I am I'm hoping to be able to do the. Uh... Sorry, got got, got, got I, was, I was concentrating. Do the um, what's the previous one called? The harvest. I want to do the harvest, and I want the harvest to be. Uh... Killing the Queen. So we'll probably be on a medium difficulty rather than the normal insane. The battle. But that's what I want to do there. There's a battle that's begun. I'm going to turn off their attack. What are we fighting? It's a cricket. That's a little bit of a pain, actually. It's a little bit of a pain to run into two crickets straight away. I'm hoping they will start to ignore them, but the crickets have come right into our face, look. Right into our face. Ha, huh, that's a little frustrating. That is a little frustrating. I want to hold them off just for just for a few seconds. I'm hoping the crickets will just go away. Which they did. So now we're oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, they did. They they've they've disappeared up there now. I don't really want to fight anything on this first night. So if they can all stay up there, that'd just be great. That'd be great. Right, so we want to get 16. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Want to get 16 of those built. Uh, that's looking fine, but we can dig that out a little bit and we'll dig that out as well. Uh, we want to dig this out. And in fact, I'm just going to dig all of that out. So this is going to become one giant media nest, essentially. The majors we'll build in the middle. The um, I don't know how close I can get to... Um, I didn't pay enough attention to the... I think we can probably do this. Let's do this. And if it opens this up, we'll probably restart again because we can't afford to have to fight anything the first day. Let's get some more medias down because we've got a good bit of food. That's fine. And then we want a waste store. We're going to build a waste store over here. And so it's similar to the last one. I did say I wasn't sure if the, the layout of the uh, map that I had was suitable. Whether it made a lot of sense, whether the path in made sense for where the ants were. Uh, and indeed, what, what Timmy essentially said was having all the ants in the middle, having the leaf store over on the side, having the waste over here. So the minims will take food from the leaf store, put it into the ants nest, and then they'll carry it over carry some waste over after that. So let's build a whole bunch of waste store because our waste is pretty much full. It's almost taken over everything else there. The leaf store is full as well. So we do need to get some more leaf store down quite quickly. They've started doing that now, but that, that has used up some of our leaf though. The minims are on the case, which is good. 
And I will build a couple more leaf store there. I always want to finish off getting this filled up. Just so that then we don't have to have too many workers going in and out. We'll get that one more there and we've got a little bit more food. There we go. So we have lots of waste store. We'll upgrade that at some point when our waste starts filling up. The minimum is to have loads of space to take the waste too, though, which is the good thing for now. Keeping an eye on the bugs, making sure they don't come too close. Oh, we have made a slight mistake there. Look, that's a bit of a pain as well. Although there's some of them were still getting food, so I don't think we were too out of They weren't stood there for too long not getting anything. Several meters south of the nest, a legion of nomadic Esseton Berkeley army ants are preparing to march. They set up camp late So we want to get night, ideally we'll conduct daily swarming raids on the surrounding areas until they see couple more medias. This humble leaf cutter stronghold will soon lie directly in their path. Timmy had around 12 before the night was over. The night is very close to being over, you can tell, because the giant whip spider has disappeared back inside. So there's our 12. The, these aren't quite here yet. So the next thing we want to do during the day is we want to get three majors as the quick as possible. The army ants will be in the, the middle before then, and that's fine. They find. Larvae filled ant colonies are particularly so now that it's the day, day, I'm going to start sending Only people over here. The force with the right tools to repel the aggressors will be left alone. The leaf cutters must prove to the invaders that they are. Because then this will be. This is an area we can get during the evening a little easier. Let's send them over to this big plant here. Because during the day, in, in the evening, this area will be hugely contested by all sorts of things. We want to try and avoid going anywhere near that. We have enough to get our first major down, so let's get one of those. If the army ants can be pushed back beyond leafcutter territory, there is a jumping spider. I'm guessing, yeah. Until it's time for them That's to not too big of an nest. issue. You'd hope I have enough ants to uh, deal with that, but maybe not. Occasionally, scouts will head out from the swarm frontier in search of live prey for the horde. If they find anything of so I might start a second group with an attack on as well, just to get rid of this spider. Timmy, when he started attacking the army ants, he did um, send the workers back in. If I can keep the workers out, if I can get rid of these... Oh, there are two of them now, look. So maybe we won't be able to do that. That was my cunning plan. If I could leave the workers actually gathering some food. The workers are, though, as Timmy said in his video. And thank you, uh, everyone did, a few people pointed out. Apologies if you can hear some noise in the background. It has started absolutely hammering down with hail on the windows. I'm just going to close the blinds a second. That did not deafen the noise whatsoever. <laughs> right, so let's get this third major down. And then we're going to start thinking... Once this third one's actually hatched, we will start thinking then about going and taking out some of these army ants. We want to try and get this down as soon as possible. So as soon as he hatches... Right, he's hatched. So let's bring those over there, start grouping those. The ones, there's a little praying mantis now and all sorts. We're going to get rid of their marker. They're going to go back inside. Well, that's actually the wrong way around. In fact, we're going to add them to that group. That's what we're going to do. And then once we've got a little bit of a force over here. So far, there is one major. I don't, don't like how big this line is. I feel like that line should be smaller. <laughs> well, that bar. There's only one major. Where are the rest of the majors? Loads of them are still gathering food, unfortunately. There's a few more. Right, let's start heading in there. We've got three majors now. I'm hoping the rest will be en route soon. So we want to try and get this bar underneath this first one. Oh, silly little praying mantis has got involved, look. We should probably take him out, because he's just going to be... Oh, in fact, oh, yeah, because he's going to be harassing the lines that are going to be coming in from the rear, isn't he? But these guys are now fully involved over here. So it's completely decimated our forces before we even got started, really. But that's why I didn't build anything else. That's why I left the food there. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a chance to regroup. And then we're going to go hit them again. 
And the idea is to get that bar underneath there, which looks at the moment like it could be a little troublesome. And obviously as we are doing this, we are not gathering any food whatsoever. So I'm actually going to send some of them out just to this plant that's just there. So it's going a little bit better now. And we've got to keep an eye on the ones because if they get attacked, we need to pull them back straight away. I'm aware that I am already sort of behind where I uh, where I needed to be, really. But we'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. It's the first time we've tried this tactic, so... I guess things are never going to go completely smoothly, are they? And even in Timmy's video, he did say that he was... Uh, He'd just come off a restart after it all went wrong. And even then in the video where it worked, his he does five days, his fourth day went really badly. <laughs> so we can see the bar has greyed out, so we are getting to the end of the day now. So we actually failed completely to get these down below there, which is probably not great. That is probably not great. So we're going to continue whittling them down to try and keep that bar lower. And then we are going to send our ants over here. And we're going to start trying to gather some of this leaf. Oh, they were already on gather. I didn't realise I left them on gather. That's foolish. Shouldn't have done that. But I suppose there's nothing to gather on the way, actually. So it didn't actually work out too bad. Uh, so the ones... Let's just send the ones up there. Until, as soon as the night creatures arrive, we'll move them back in. And we're trying to just grab a bit of this leaf over here before the whip spider comes out. Is it this evening he'll start harassing our base? Or is this class? No, I think this class is the first evening, doesn't it? We do have a good bit of food, though, so let's get another major down. I'm going to... Stop them. I'm going to move them up here, I think, because I just don't know how long I've got. In fact, what I might do then is I might send them up there. I don't know how long I've got until the whip spider comes out, and it does seem to be getting a little dark. A lot of the other creatures have disappeared, look. Oh, no, I suppose there are still a few jump spiders around, but that's okay. We'll go up there. We'll get some of this food. must defend themselves. What have they come across? I think it's that jumping spider. That's fine. The ones are just milling around. They're still gathering. We're still going okay. So let's get another major down. And I'm watching him. There is a way... I skimmed through to me, so there's a way of watching that. I think the shadow up in this bit. Yeah, here he comes. He's coming out. So we're going to move everyone across now because the these guys here are dead, to <laughs> unfortunately. Forces are reconvening to join a giant bivouac but that's their own okay. We will wait out the so we'll move those guys inside. We're going to turn off attack the during the evening because we would rather not attack anything if we can help it. Doesn't look like he's going to come storming towards our base. Looks like this this sort of second evening really looks like he's going to stay out here a couple of our ants managed to get through actually so that's not too bad whip spider has detected the presence of the leaf cutters and in the meantime we're going to continue building up our forces here night hunter can knock back and i normally sort of have like a little a little list written down of the numbers that timmy got to so i know what sort of numbers i need at this stage whether i should build, be building medias or majors i don't have that so as I say, I just had to very hurriedly skip through it. So we're just going to grab what we can, when we can, really. A little group of three enemies arrived there, unfortunately. That, that Major is absolutely destroying him. They do do a good, good deal of damage, don't they? So our plan this evening is to try and control this bit here and get this cleared of leaf. That's the idea. I'm 
we'll see how that goes. This one here I normally go for, but Timmy said he, he didn't really worry about that, because there's only really... And there's 600 there, and there's probably about another another 200, probably 800 food there, but you can see it is very heavily contested. And in the meantime, we are being harassed non-stop by these annoying little crickets. As long as our food is going up, that's all that really matters. And as long as the whip spider stays over there, that'll be fine. And then the second evening, when the whip spider does come over here, the plan is we will be attacking him at that point. That's the idea. We'll see how that goes. So our waste is okay. We are not going to be building any more workers now. Uh, Timmy did play around. A few of you had, had the idea of using... Uh, workers to taunt enemies and get them to follow them around. So maybe you could, for, for example, keep the whip spider busy so the, the soldiers, the uh, army ants would help deal with him, or luring giant mantises towards the uh, army lines. And Timmy sort of did that. What he was, he built one worker on like the third or fourth day and used that one worker. I'm gonna have to take care of this because this is a little bundle of uh, enemies that are gonna frustrate everything otherwise. What he did was use one worker just to just to annoy the scouts for the army ants. That's all he really used them for. The whip spider's taken a little bit of damage. That's probably from our our forces previous sort of thought. So let's get rid of this dude as well. Were they dealing with the hunter spider, I guess? In fact, no, if he's gonna walk off. Uh, no, he's gonna come back, so let's deal with him. Let's get some more majors down. Let's get a few more medias as well. I'm trying to not use all of my food up immediately. Take their attack off again. And you can see this area here is just rammed. And there's nothing too major there. There's no big crickets or nothing like that. But for the food you get, whereas up here, you have 600, you have 600, you have, six, you have 1800 food plus the little extra bits as well. So you do get a lot of food up in this bit. We've got a little bit more up here for emergency. We've got a little bit more up here for emergencies. And we do have this plant down here as well, our super emergency plant. Someone did mention using this vine and using that to sort of connect yourself to other areas. I'm sure it was that vine. I can't see any others around particularly. And we may try to use that if we can get there. And so the general idea for Timmy's tactic, it's terrific Timmy, it's Timmy with an E-H. If you just look for a frontline insane or something like that, you should be able to find him quite easily. So that spider's just disappeared. You can see the whip spiders are actually creeping away as well. So when the little ones go, that's what he said is the sort of the marker of when you can start going out a bit further. So I'm immediately going to send my forces up there because this is something we can get another time. And if we can get some food up there, we don't have long... until the um, army ants start arriving. And when they arrive, they're going to come into this middle lane on force. And you don't want to be in the way of that. That first line of, of army ants, that have that little bundle of soldiers that storm up straight away. Timmy was saying he thinks they have some sort of either boosted attack speed or attack damage or something because he has seen them absolutely destroy everything. Like full-grown leaf mantises just destroyed in seconds. The swarm has returned. Right, so the swarm has returned, and so we're actually going to bring our ants over here. We're going to turn their attack, and we're going to leave it off for the moment just because of these guys. So we're actually, if anything, a little bit early. We're going to turn our attack on because we're going to need to get rid of this thing. Otherwise, it's just going to stand there and whittle down our forces. In the meantime, we've got a little bit of food. So I'm going to get another army ant down. Another army ant. Another major down. So yeah, you can see, you can see that uh, this, this is the first force of soldiers that I meant. This little force here is super hardcore, apparently. 
He called it like the bug clear force, so it just storms up the middle and destroys everything. Although you can, they're not actually ripping through that too fast. I'd like a few more to move up. I don't want to run in when it's like a force of like 10 soldiers, really. We will be able to take them out, but i kind of rather not. We'll destroy that whip, uh, whip jump spider instead. And nothing's happening, and we're going to need to get in there because that bar is getting way too high now. So let's jump in there and start taking these guys out. We have a fairly substantial force compared to where we were last time, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. I'm going to turn off their food gathering just in case we do get anywhere where there are leaves. We want to try and avoid losing our ants running back and forth gathering leaf. We've got 300 food in store, so we'll see how we go there. I might... Let's try sending the ones out to get a little bit of leaf while these guys are doing this. Be useful if we could get some. If they start getting attacked at all, I'll immediately bring them back in. And you can see our forces are pretty much destroying everything. That... I don't know where that guy's going. An army and scout has spotted the leaf cutters. It must not ah, yeah, so we, there's a the swarm. jumping spider that's come out there. They're not going to take him out, so we'll just pull everyone back in. It'd be nice if we could get there, if we got a, bit, a little bit of RNG niceness and there was nothing there to worry about, but that is not what's happened, unfortunately. There are a lot of these little leaf cutters around this morning, aren't there? So ideally, this bar would only be around here at the start of the day. If we could have knocked them down in the first day, the bar would have been a lot closer and we would already have knocked them back again and we'd be in a position where we could run into the uh, other side now. Because now the problem we have is that we've committed a lot of our forces here, but there's not actually that many army ants spawning. Well, there's some just run down there, look, but that's fine. So what I might do... I might send the ones over there and put the medias over there and we'll leave the majors there taking out any army ants that appear. Just so we are actually getting some food while the majors deal with any army ants that appear and try to whittle that bar down. It's just going to be very challenging when there's only a very small number of them appearing. Is it going to go down at all? Or is it just going to sort of hold fast? I suppose as long as they're holding them off, that's the main thing really, isn't it? I'd love that bar to go down, but if these guys can actually get out there and get some food... We're gonna, I'm going to send them up there, because there's a little, a little group of them arrive there, look. They're all sort of locked in combat though, because they're appearing so fast. There's only one guy that's got out there. Look. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a troop of army ant scouts. If any escape, they will call for reinforcements. Oh, so that one's going to escape, unfortunately. Not much we can really do about that. So send them back over here to take out these army ants. In the meantime, we have a good chunk of food, An so let's... Army ant scout has reported recent leafcutter movements back to the swarm. Enemy reinforcements are inbound. Let's turn their attack on. There's a good little group that's arrived here. I might add the medias back to this group, actually. Just because there's quite a few of them, and our mages are there. They are, they have... Uh undistracted by the little fighting force down there. So take them out, take this little group out as well. The two of them have immediately ran away. The chickens. An army and scouting party has That's fine. The leaf cutters. They I'm must right with that. be allowed to report back to the swarm. So we've almost got them down. We've almost got them down, but it's now the end of the first day, unfortunately. Hmm. So I'm actually going to send them over here, because I don't think much is going to spawn in the middle. So I'm going to send them over there just to try and get their forces down a little bit more before we start collecting some more food. 
And then we haven't got long until that... Oh, and we haven't got much food in store at all. We're meant to be trying to take out the Whip Spider this evening. But we don't have much food, so maybe actually... We'll turn on their food gathering. And try and get some leaf before the end of the evening. Maybe that's what we'll do, because yeah, the army ants have all disappeared, look. So you can see there's a little bit of sun left up here, so we've got a little bit of time. So hopefully they'll grab a few hundred food and bring it back. We've got a little bit in store, so we've got a little bit of food that will be regenerated. little bit of sunshine left, isn't there? It's considering going up there towards these, this big one here, but the jumping spot, I thought if we want to take something out, maybe it won't be the, as advantageous as we'd like. So I'll set them down here for the moment. So here comes the shadow. So once that sort of gets all the way across. We'll have to consider whether... Uh, let's take that marker off. We don't want our, anything running over there anytime soon. Are they fighting amongst themselves? What are they fighting then? Right. Let's pull everyone back. Because I don't think we've got long. It's only a little... little little patch of sun just here look and when he comes out he's going to run basically straight for our base but we do have a good deal of food now i don't know the numbers well here he comes look are we going to get back in time is the question as daylight fades the army ferries the last of the day spoil looks like we should for the evening feast just about turn at first light And what we want is we want him actually to be there. That's the exact position we want to fight him in. We don't want him to be up the top. So, let's have a go. Oh, he's moving a little bit, but not too much. We're okay. And let's see if we've got enough ourselves. to take him out. So he's down about, what, to uh, two-thirds of his health? He's down to about a third, about a quarter. So we are going to take him out. So we will now send everyone down to his little his little hidey hole down here to gather that food. I'm going to leave their attack on, so they do take care of anything that's in the middle. In the meantime, let's get some more stuff building, shall we? Let's get another me, another major, and a couple of medias. There's a few things here. Trails has drawn the attention of a whip spider. The ants must It's a defend bit themselves. of a pain. I'd rather not have a whip spider to take care of. I might just leave those guys to sacrifice themselves to the god of whip spiders while everyone else gathers the food. In fact, a few of them just ran away anyway. Oh, he's come right into the middle now, look. Okay, let's, um... Let's take care of him if we can. Because he's now right in our path and I really want to get this food in the middle. Some people are taking some leaf back, aren't they? I hope so, because oh, we've got a few, fair bit of leaf, so we will start to see, see some food generating soon, because we are out of food, so anything that dies now is not being replenished. It's a shame these two harvesters have arrived to annoy this guy. We're starting to generate some food again now, but we are pretty much out of leaf again. How is this guy so much trouble when we just took out his giant counterpart? So he's finally gone, so we're going to send everyone down there to hopefully continue gathering leaf. There is a bunch of leaf here, which will save them a little bit of time. 
They've been distracted over here by all sorts of things, but they are right in the supply line path, so we are going to have to allow them to deal with them. But this is the problem with the evenings, though, isn't it? There's so much around. It's so difficult to actually make any headway, it seems. And this food supply over here should be easy pickings. It's a fairly straight line. There's no real enemy uh, spawn points. There's one there, but that shouldn't be too much in the way. I might even just I might even pull people back for a moment and just try and give these uh, these guys a chance to sod off. What are these guys doing? Right, let's try that again. Who is fighting down? How did you end up all the way down there? Oh, there's a giant leaf mantis that's coming now. Leaf uh, mantis? No, did I say antis or mantis? I've got no idea. Oh, that's and he is right next to our base all of a sudden. What a horrible place for him to come. I think I have been quite unlucky with some of the RNG here, to be honest. Like, we cannot ignore this guy. He has to be taken down. But that is, we're down to seven majors that are left alive at the moment. So any food we do actually manage to gather is going to be just building up our forces to where they were when we took on the giant whip spider, which is very frustrating. So we're not going to make any headway for a little bit. Got a little bit of leaf in stock, so we might get that back up to nine, if that can go up a little bit more. Yes, we're back up to nine, which is something. It's something. It's not everything. Now, if these guys can get back uncontested, largely uncontested, we should get a good deal of food on the way back. This guy's being a little bit annoying, but he's got three, three majors should be able to take him. Oh, two majors. That guy's gone, nah, not for me, sunshine. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So I can't see any other whip spiders, so they're the initial kind of is daylight coming um, hint. But it does seem like it's brightening up, doesn't it? Where would daylight come? I've gone over this side somewhere, but I can't see any at the moment. Free reign of the harvesting grounds is about to be cut short. The swarm has mobilized. So we should see these guys going away. There's another. I mean, you don't. He also said you don't normally see the leaf cut of the uh, praying mantises during the uh, during the night. They usually be more of a day of force. But we've had two of these spawn in the night right next to our base at a time when we have no food and we now need to take on the army ants basically first thing in the morning. We have a little bit of food now. Not as much as I would have liked, though, for being honest. Not as much as I would have liked. So they have a little bit of a headway. So we're going to let this little force run past. Hopefully they won't get held up like they did previous. He says as a cricket immediately arrives there. Let's pull them back a little bit, just because those guys are... Right. Let's go, then. Let's go, boys. Girls. Sorry, girls. Oh, my headphones are beeping and I, because I closed the curtains, I can't see where my cable is to charge them. Is that it? Nope. So there's actually, oh, that's why there are none of them spawning, because there are these guys here. So we actually kind of need to, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to run over there then, whilst they're being held, and again it's annoying that the ones that get killed by the enemy insects don't affect that line. That's a little frustrating. I mean, you can see why, because otherwise the game might essentially win almost on your behalf. Right, sorry, I did run away to get my cable there, so I might have gone a little quiet. I decided to carry on talking even though I was nowhere near the microphone. So they are completely holding that line up, which is good in a way. But on the other hand, it's it's enemy ants that we could be killing. 
Well, that does mean we can come over here and, and contest this bit, though. Which is, you know, it's something. I want to just make... We need to make sure that as I'm clicking down, it doesn't path them through these. There's a third one. Wow. Now, I was unlucky with them. That is so unlucky. And none of them are taking any damage, really. The only problem we're going to have now is that if they're going to run out of ants to kill, they're just going to start wandering off. That's insane. I mean, the difficulty's insane, I suppose. But as you can see, we're now struggling to get this bar down because these three are killing all of these and we can't. So we've got a few enemies over here, but there's just not much for us to actually kill, so we can't get that bar down. So it's actually it's actually not as good as it might seem for us. So what I might do is I might send them over, turn on their turn on their food gathering, I think, because we may as well do something in the meantime. Three little baby mimics. They're taking out those ones. There's another adult You've there. That's insane. Army and scouts. If any escape, they will so only one of them is left us. there now. He's going to run straight at... Look at these. There are so many. So that does mean the middle line is actually going to start up again, though. So let's... The Atta soldiers managed to prevent the army and scouts from returning to the swarm. Let's take on this middle line again. In the meantime, we've got a little bit of food coming in. I might try. I might have a, a little bit of a risky run with the workers over there, see if they can get anything. So our forces are spread a little thin here, because some of them are taking different routes. An army and scout has spotted the leaf cutters. It must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. I'm trying to see how far down I can get the marker before it starts pathing down the bottom bit. Oh, it's going all the way down there, so we should be okay. The only issue we're going to have is, oh, he's going up there. That's not too bad, then. An enemy scouting troop has been overwhelmed by the Atta So they'll start going down there. Oh, I was going to say, they're going to start going down there now, but that's not going to be a problem, because the... Uh... Enemy Leaf Mantis went at the top, but and there are so many of them. There are so many of these adults around. It's absolutely insane. This guy, we are, we're going to have to take care of this guy now because he's just walked right into our main main path. Yeah, I'm really struggling to get this bar down at all because we're just not getting the numbers of army ants to take out. Oh, and I just noticed that's actually being attacked as well, so we need to get rid of those. So that's just going to cost us food otherwise. Let's get rid of that marker. So I'm going to send them down here again, about as far until it starts changing the direction. And then what I might do is I might do a similar thing to previous, and I might start sending the medias on a bit more of an actually gathering force. In fact, is there still stuff in the middle? I'm going to send the medias over there. Because they're still largely the same lines then, but at least then hopefully the medias will start getting some actual food. Whereas at the moment... Oh no, the bar's gone grey look, so actually... Let's start sending everyone over there. So that's another day gone, and we still can't get those army ants down. Those leaf cutters, leaf cutters, those uh, praying mantis, really caused us some issues. They really held them up, and they killed a lot for us, but it wasn't at all helpful. Surprisingly, not very helpful. I'll move those over there, just we leave the one, just because that's how we've done it traditionally up to this point. There's still food there after that. I'd like to go up here, really, but... There's also this big plant here, but that's protected by another giant praying mantis, another full-grown one. So this evening, I'm going to go for this, and then I'm going to go for the bit up here. We're going to see how that goes, see what we get attacked by. That's really what it comes down to. 
We actually have some food coming in stock now though, which is nice. Haven't made any new ants for a long time it feels, and that's gonna really be a bit of a problem for us going forward. We are holding off the army ants a little more than we were in the first attempt of doing insane. It's just probably not enough still, that's the problem. Is that just ran out there? I think it has, hasn't it? So let's start sending everyone up there. Just check to make sure that is... Yes, it is completely empty. We'll get rid of that one marker because that's going to confuse things otherwise. And there is... Oh, there's nothing over there, actually. There's another giant adult one up there. So we might have to keep an eye on where he goes. He could be a problem. We've still got a bit of food there. We've still got the one in the bottom corner. So we still have a little bit of emergency food the supplies. The day is nearly over. The army retreats and a relative tranquility sets in across the rainforest floor. I'm trying to watch, where is he? He's there. Is he going to disappear for the night or is he going to continue? Continuing to stand there. So we have a lot of crickets to suddenly take care of. We've probably timed it a little bad in that they're all, uh, all on their way home. Where's the spawn point up here? Where are they going? Oh, they're actually spawning, so these are actually the nighttime creatures. I might just have to give our, our, our enemy, our ants, a little bit of a chance to recuperate, actually. There's a little bit too much there, I think, for us to deal with, with the numbers we had there. So maybe this evening, then, we'll try and take this back and get that up there. I want to try and avoid using that until we really, really need to. The one down in the bottom corner there. And again, as fast as we are generating food with leaf, we are absolutely rinsing through it. Now, I'd hope this force would actually be big enough to take care of everything there, but they actually seem to be shrugging a little bit, don't they? Getting held up over here. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and use this leaf up. This plant up. I think we really, we just need an influx of food at this point. We need to finish this evening with some food in store. Because at some point we're going to get to where the, we can't even go out in the evenings because there's too much stuff to deal with. And we're already down to half of our forces available. I'm going to stick these in that same group. Because our all of our forces, all of our mages have got completely bottlenecked here and destroyed. So we are down to one living major. Which is not ideal. So we really need this food store to come in. Hopefully this guy will stay away from our nest. Yeah, it's probably a bit foolish to try and go for that, because look at that. It got a bit crazy up there. They should be able to take care of them, but they should be able to take care of them when they're at full strength. That's the thing. Six medias and zero majors are not going to be able to take care of it. Not on their own, but we have some food coming in now, finally. So that our forces will start to recoup in. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, I've got a good chunk of leaf coming in. It's a lot of the work is carrying it, so it won't be as much as it might seem, but it's something. Our medias are back up to full strength. We just need our majors to start being hatched again, which is 15 space for a media, so we need our minims to do a little bit of work because it doesn't look like anything's going up at the moment. Oh, we've gone up by one, two. So we're going to rinse through this plant over here. And then maybe we'll try heading down for this bit here. So we started getting our majors back finally. Finally. Let's put these back in the nursery group. Because there's not going to be much food left there. I can't tell if it's 100, it's 110. So we've still got a little bit there. Back to 11 majors. Oh, I was going to head down here, but we've had these two arrive here now. They're actually going to annoy our armies a little bit, aren't they? The battle has begun. 
Now again, they should be able to absolutely rinse through that pilly little enemy. Is that gone now? That is gone now. So I'm going to start sending them down here. Try and use up some of that food. Just there's a little bit of food there somewhere, but I can't see anything. I'm going to try and skim the edge of this. I don't want them to go too close to that guy at all. Again, out in the evening. Timmy may have been a little bit wrong when he said they are nighttime. I can see a few of them starting to path over to the side there, and I'd ra really rather they didn't, so maybe we'll send them up there instead. Starting to use up our emergency food supplies now, but needs must. We are back up to full strength, finally. So that's something. This food up here is not going to go very far, but it, is, it keeps us out of the way of the enemies. We've spent so long getting this food up, I'd rather not lose it all immediately. Okay, it says there's some food there, but I don't know what it's... Is it this dead harvestman? I don't know. Dawn has broken and the night critters run for cover. That was not as long as we'd have the hoped, is it? On the march. We have a good deal of food there. But I'd, I mean I'd like I'd like more food, I'd like more ants. So we're gonna have to start recovering our forces. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. I am sick of giant full grown. Leaf Mimic, Praying Mantises. I am sick of them. Just leave him. Leave him. Just run. Just run. Oh, now where where is he going to go? Is he just going to head straight for my nest? Yep. Yes, he is. Oh, my God. Come on now. Oh. And you can see they're barely... St I mean, they're struggling to get his health down. They got there in the end. It wasn't quite as smooth as you might have liked. So let's immediately send everyone over here. Take out some of these army ants. I mean, we've got to try. It's half a bar we need to push them back by. And again, it's just the numbers that are the problem. Trying to get enough to kill. I've got enough food now. I think we can probably safely start actually building a couple more things. I should bolster our force a little bit. But we don't want to do too much because we do actually need to start killing things. And killing things means you're going to die as well, so you need that food there to recover your losses. It does actually look like there are a good number of, of army ants around and they're not being harassed by too much in the way of annoying other enemy insects. But again, that bar just isn't going down fast enough. One of the things that Timmy pointed out was that once you've killed a few, they seem to stop spawning as many as you would expect. And I think that's what we're falling foul of a little bit. These enemy insects are killing so many of them that we are then struggling to... Is that going to be a problem for us? It might be. But we're struggling to kill the numbers that we need. And there's a giant praying mantis! What is going on with the giant praying mantises? They are just constant and again taking out the army ants for us. The leaf cutters, they must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. And now our forces are running in that direction. There are what? Five, six, another giant one? There are two giants, there's a bunch of smalls. Honestly, it's insane how many there are. managed to prevent the army and scouts from returning to the swarm. So those guys are going to be distracted taking care of those. What I think I'd like to do is actually start them running over here as soon as we can. So I'm going to build a little force up over here as and when they get there, when they get past this, because we are close to pushing that bar down. We have used up all of our food, though. And now there's a giant praying mantis who's taken out our forces. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. And he's right in the way of where I want our forces to go. Okay, brilliant. It's such a shame because he's so close to going down. If it escapes, it will call for reinforcements. 
That is such a shame. Or oh, they might. Or oh, they've done it. They've actually managed to push them back. Look, we've actually got them in the, under that first bar. For the first time ever. Let's take, I'll take out these guys, seeing as they're there. Just help keep that bar down as much as possible. And what I'd like to do is go over here and take them out there. Where are you guys going? Come back. Come back. We could do with that bar and not reach in. Oh, look at a giant leaf cutter. A uh, leaf mimic. Really don't want that to get to the middle again, but now there are... I mean, we need to take care of... We need to actually kill these to help the army ants. Because they are just allowing that bar to grow. It's so annoying. See, it's, it's almost grown up to that point again. Well, let's turn their food gathering off because they're getting distracted by that. And I'd really rather not have to kill these, but we just don't seem to have much of an option, do we? He is also, I'd love to get some of this food here, but he's obviously right in our supply line for that. We have no food. Of course we have no food. I'm going to start sending our medias up there to gather some of that. The mages we'll leave here to try and hold off any army ants that arrive, but there really aren't that many, actually, so I might... No, we do need them. Because look at that. That middle bar's come up again. Ah, oh, we really don't want to fight that little force, but we're going to... Run away, run away. The swarm frontier is expanding towards the leafcutter nest. No, they're going to absolutely decimate our forces there, unfortunately. And we are basic... I didn't realise we were so low on ants. We have two majors and that is it. Wow, I thought that day was going quite well up until that point. Those stupid, stupid praying mantises. Absolute death. And I know I need to avoid them wherever possible, but sometimes, like, when they are holding up the army ant lines, I can't avoid them. I need to take them out, otherwise... Th this bar just continues to creep up and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I don't like the fact it creeps up when there are no army ants here either. I think that's very sneaky. And I detest the fact it continues to creep up when their armies are being utterly devastated by any other enemy insects. So we have now got a huge force to recover. We've got no food to really do it with. There are leaf mimic, uh, leaf mimic prey mantises everywhere, it seems. Everywhere you look, there's another fully grown one. So starting to build our medias back up. This level is so tough. I've been going for 53 minutes my recording's been going for now, and there wasn't much downtime before I actually started talking, so... This level's been going on a while, and we're not dead yet, but we're also not doing very well. How long can you go before you... And again, it's now half two in the afternoon. I have another nine videos to record after this. Including another Empire's one as well, and they are always a little sizable. So our media force is back up, but now we need to hatch 17 mages. The is returning to camp. At 15 Once food again, a time. A nightly truce is founded. Uh, I'm going to send the workers back in because they're not really going to do much for us. The ants must fight. Oh, and a giant cricket's arrived. And this is around the time where I could be doing with just holding my forces back because there's uh, it's hard for us to get much of a foothold and gain any food when we are using up so much food and taking out enemies. I want to just I'm watching where he goes. He's just is he just running away? Nope, he's just moving down there. 
That guy seems to be stuck. I wanted to run them down and just grab these couple of bits here. And then run away again. What's this? That's a little cricket. Let's try running up there and getting that little bit of food. Can't see anything spawn. Oh, he says there's something that spawns, but that's okay. That thing will be absolutely rinsed. Oh, it would have been if it actually come close. The battle now, of course, there's a little praying mantis. Detached praying mantises, apparently. Let's split our forces a bit so they can actually get some of this leaf. It's not much at all. It's definitely not enough for us to actually really build up much of a food source. And I'd like to get them away from these two because they're quite chunky. That guy is just definitely stuck there, isn't he? I don't know where else we can really go for food, though. We still haven't. We're just about to hatch our final major to get us back to our actual full fighting force. Well, that's taken a good chunk of the evening to do that. And again, I don't really want them getting too involved there. Let's pull everyone back again. Grab what you can and run. In fact, that group's food gathering is off. That's why that's not been doing much. But not that there's much of them to really do. They can carry 15 foods. So that's going to pretty much do all of that in once. Those guys got really distracted by that. And that's actually going to cost us a lot of our food. I say a lot of our food. We haven't got much food for it to cost. Yep, there's a major just died. So that was most of our food used up in one. Huh. Really struggling to know what we're going to do at this point. We need food. So we have to do something. So I'm going to try pushing them down there. And just see if the enemies just stay away for long enough. There is also some food up here still. But that involves us going up there. Either during the night when it looks like that. Which is obviously impossible. Have they annoyed that? Sometimes I don't know why they take these paths. I mean, nope. Like, why did they go anywhere near? I could have turned their attack off. Maybe that would have stopped them going, getting too involved. But at this point, it's a little irrelevant because that guy's there. So we're, we have now lost, we've lost half of our mages. Huh. Oh, there goes another one. I mean, I definitely didn't do enough early on. I think I'm going to have to call it. It's been an hour. And I just don't think we've made enough. We've got no food at all, which is the, obviously the main, main problem. We need to hatch another seven of those at 15 each. Whatever that works out to be. Uh, 120, 135 food. So we need to get 135 food to get our force back to its full strength. And then build up, what, like 500 at least you'd have thought? Build up 500 food before the next morning on top of that. So we need about six to 700 food once again, the swarm raiders and return, it's the end of the, the evening. Of the wow. To meet them. Wow. 
What do we do about that? And they were they're about halfway up again, weren't they? When they arrive, they're going to be about halfway up again. Like halfway up the, the, the second... Well, not that far, I suppose, but far enough. Okay, so same plan as before. It's, it's already creeping up, and they're not even bringing any food back. So we're going to let this force run past. Then we're going to run in here. Oh, I'll put those in the wrong group. I'm going to turn the their attack on. Begun. And I'm going to turn their attack on. And I'm going to leave their food gathering on this time, because if there's food to be gathered, we need it, really. Right, let's just swing down here. There's not much coming up, because there's a giant praying mantis that's holding them off again. Wow, and he's going to wander up here, following their forces, and he's going to attack us. And again, we need to take care of him. Because otherwise, he's taken out all of the army ants. And that's army ants we can't kill. And let them gather. There's quite a lot of leaf there where we got distracted. I think that was on a praying mantis again, wasn't it? So I'm going to let them grab that. Then I'm going to pull them back a little bit. And let their forces regroup after they take that leaf back. And then we're going to have to deal with this. Then we're going to have to deal with that. Or I might run them over there. Oh, there's another one there. Of course there is. That's insane. So you can see there are basically no army ants. There's a few down there, but they're being taken care of by this thing, which is finally dead. So we have killed very few army ants. There are hundreds of army ants which have died to praying mantises. What's that? Oh, it's a giant praying mantis. Why wouldn't it be a giant praying mantis right outside our base? Oh, I know it's supposed to be insane difficulty, but it seems like I'm really getting the raw end of the RNG deal here. I think what I might do after Christmas is if I can get some... The problem is, that you might think, Christmas break, awesome, loads of time. Loads of days off to do what you want, but... The leaf cutters my work doesn't break up until Christmas Eve, scouts. so I'm taking leave off work to go to Australia from uh, this weekend, or next weekend, from the 13th-ish. And then I come back on the 6th. I have the 7th off, but I have some appointments on the 7th, and I also don't know how ridiculous... And we've got no food, and we've got... No, oh, look at this, just destroyed us. I don't know how ridiculous the... Uh, the jet lag's going to be for me. And then I'm back to work the next day. Three full-grown praying mantises have just come over here. Look, this one's stuck somehow. So there are now four in this tiny little area. What could you even do about that? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to call that. Uh, we were down to basically no ants again. We've got no food again. There are giant praying mantises everywhere you look. There, are, there were five there at one point. There were five in this screen just then. Oh, there are again. There they are. Five of them. The army ants are being held up at every point by insects as well. There's another giant praying mantis there. Who's holding up that row in the, uh, on the left when they appear. We actually have some army ants finally spawning in the middle row, but... We have nine medias, and there's a praying mantis. <laughs> oh, I, I, if I get a chance after Christmas, it's probably going to have to be we're talking middle of January, end of January, when I actually have like a day. I don't know when I'm going to have a day to myself, but what I'd like to do is just sit here and repeat this and repeat this and repeat this until RNG does not screw me at every opportunity. 
and then do what Timmy does, which is record it and then do some voiceover afterwards. Because... <sighs> what can you say? What can you say? If I tell everyone to try and go get that leaf, I know they're going to get destroyed, but there's just nothing we can do about that, really. We need to sort of... <laughs> this is prepos... Is that six? Six. There are now six there. It just gets insane, doesn't it? And again, I know it's insane difficulty, but come on now. So actually, already at the end of the day, end of the day has arrived. They've almost hit the uh, third marker. And our medias, are they going to be enough to take? Yeah, there's only a couple of soldiers. They should take care of them, but it's taken us down to 11, 9. It said 11 when it said 10. I don't know what's wrong with me. So they'll get like a little boost. So by the time it comes to the next day, they will pretty much be ready to come up right by our base. So we've got this evening to get enough food to hatch all of this. And again, as we're doing this, we are getting no new ants. So there are two giant praying mantises up there. One, two, three, four, five still over here, which means there's another one wandering around somewhere. Down, oh, six, seven, yep. So within this side of the map, in the right side of the map, there are, what, eight, is that eight or nine full-grown praying mantises? We have got a little bit of leaf in store now. I don't know how much leaf, what that actually translates to in terms of food. The ants must defend themselves. Because they're going to come up here, but as soon as evening actually arrives, those crickets are going to be spawning again. Got a little bit of time just watching this shadow. So we've got all of our medias back. We've got some majors. Just watching this shadow slowly creep across. And that has actually stopped growing finally. So yes, over the Christmas break, as I said, I think there is one Empire's video scheduled. I'm not doing as many videos, so I am away for three weeks, but so it might seem like one isn't very many, but um, I'm not doing as many videos because I can't do, I can't do 18 videos <laughs> between now and Friday. I don't, I don't think I'm going to, I was hoping to do three videos a week, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to manage that the way it's going. Because like I say, this is an hour and 10 minutes on this now, and I need to record another one, and Empire's always takes a while. Oh, they're, they're all dead. They're all dead. Giant cricket, giant mantis, little cricket, harvestman. So we've... Oh, they've, they've actually killed everything. They've absolutely destroyed everything we actually managed to build up. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave that there. It's definitely not going to happen, is it? We've got down to eight medias on what's this, the fourth night? Something like that. So the fifth day is when Timmy won. It's when he managed to push back the army ants enough and actually get their lines down. So we're, we're, I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly confident, we are not going to make that. So as I said, over Christmas, there'll be one video, one or two. I'll try for two, but it's probably going to be one. And I'm going to attempt to do the uh, the harvest and take out the enemy queen. So we'll be on an easier difficulty and we'll try to take out the enemy queen. That's the plan. So I'm going to leave that there. Obviously, we haven't even managed to lose the level. But it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do click the like button, subscribe, comment, all those good things. I'm very behind on comments. I'm, as I say, I'm away for three weeks very soon, so I'll be even further behind on comments. I'm very sorry about that, but I will try to get them as soon as I can. There is a stream. I don't know when this video is out. Probably actually after the last stream of the year. So streaming will re resume. Probably not the Wednesday. I think the 8th, is it? I think the 8th is a Wednesday of January. But I probably won't do a stream then just because, as I said, I'm back on the 6th. Busy the 7th. At work on the 8th. I don't think I'm going to be in a position really to do a stream on the 8th. I probably need to do some recording. So it'll probably be the week after that on the 15th. Which, if it isn't a Wednesday, whatever the closest Wednesday to that actually works out to be. So hopefully I'll see you there, or I'll see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.